In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make harmonies from a single vocal using a plugin called Harmony Engine. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Che. I make music production tutorials on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So I decided to make this video about harmonies using this plugin called Harmony Engine because it was suggested for by someone via my Instagram. So you guys can follow me on Instagram at jmg and let's interact there. So what I'm going to do here is put the plugin right here take you through step by step on how this plugin works the parameters and we're going to use it on a vocal so that you see how you can achieve some harmonies from a single vocal which is um, my lead vocal right here that is what we're going to use so i've added it at the end of my vocal chain on my lead vocal group channel this plugin can also be added on the actual vocal channel right here so if you want it you can add it right here on the vocal channel all right guys before we even get into this and uh, explain everything i just want to say thank you very much guys for all the support on the channel i really appreciate you guys coming through watching these videos let's keep on doing it and let's keep on growing the channel so in today's video i'm only asking for 50 likes on this video so if you're watching this video make sure you go down there and click the like button because it helps the channel grow so i really appreciate if you do that for me right now so coming to the plugin i'll start with this right here so you have the input which is just the signal of the vocal that is coming into the plugin right here and the other four are the harmonies that are generated from the vocal here so let me just explain a few of the parameters right here so you've got what is called solo and mute this is where you mute or solo the the vocal or whichever uh, playback here it can either be the harmony or anything you can solo using that or you can mute using that down here you've got this for panning left and right on all these so let me come here uh, where the most important thing is so you need to make sure that you set the key of your song so for example i'll come to my lead vocal here and just click on my auto tune you see that it's in b flat major set this to b flat to match it with your song the scale is major then down here the input vocal range which in my case i've selected this and then here you've got what is called denoise you need to make sure that this is clicked then down here you've got what is called choir so the choir here is just uh, that effect that makes your vocal sound as if there are a lot of people that are singing along so you can add that effect to each of these harmonies if you want it to on each of these harmonies here you've got what is called interval the interval is basically just the octave so if it's at this point if you set it at this point it is just the normal vocal that you have right here so let me just mute all the harmonies and make you listen to the vocal it's which is this so i'll just add a little bit of volume here she's like 16 i'm like 27 but the mutima una pela so this right here is the channel fader here so it's for the volume so each of these has got the fade so that's basically the input signal when it comes to the harmonies like i said if i set it here it means it's the normal vocal so i'm going to mute this and unmute the harmony so that you listen to it so in this state it is just the vocal but see what happens when i set it to an octave up so i can set it to the second or third octave going up or downwards so let me set it to this and let's listen to what it sounds like you can also set it to maybe uh, the sixth octave something like that you can also set it below and right here you've got the humanize 
uh, section here where you kind of add some originality in the harmonies so that they don't sound so robotic down here you have what is called pitch amount so how much pitch would you like to add so add a little bit like that then this is the panning you can either pan it left or right and the throat here i'm sure some of you that have used autotune before you know what the throat does so let me take it all the way up and down you see what happens let's switch on another harmony here so what i want to do is i want to make the exact harmony here and just pan these left and right so uh, i just unmute this and set to the same octave and pan it to the other side set the pitch to somewhere 20 then i'll just push the volume a bit here so from here you can see that the original vocal is on mute so i'll just blend it in She's like 16, I'm like 27, but the Mutima una pela tebe. She's like 16, I'm like 27, but the Mutima una pela tebe. She's like 16, I'm like 27, but the Mutima una pela tebe. So then I'll come here and uh, set maybe these other two harmonies to something like the fifth octave for both and then just blend them in and then pan them left and right then uh, the pitch amount a little bit like that let's unmute that switch on the choir for each of these channels i'll start with the the first and uh, the second then just set the pitch somewhere here select the number of voices let's set it to eight just to exaggerate this She's like 16, I'm like 27. Then down here for the choir you have the stereo spread how much you want it to be spread in the left and right so basically this is how it works it's now time for you guys to explore how you can use this and just be creative about it i'll leave the link in the description you go get it so thanks a lot guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section let me know what you think also feel free to follow me on instagram and facebook at jdmg Let's interact there. See you in my next video. Peace.